So now we've got a four. Let's try four. I will be surprised if this works. With this experiment, we're going to be looking at the strength of eggs. These little fragile things, just how much strength have they got? Can they support a pile of bricks, for instance? Well, for this experiment, we obviously need fresh eggs. We need a bowl to put our eggs in. We need some bricks. We need some masking tape. We need a marker, a spoon, a knife, scissors. And there you have it. So what is it that makes the egg so strong? It's the shape, look, it's the shape, that curved bit at the top there, this top end. We're gonna look at this top half. That's a parabola. If I take this, this bit of chain, just a standard sort of sink plug type chain, if I just pin it there on the paper at one side, let it dangle naturally, like that. You can see that we're, we're getting that sort of egg shape there, aren't we? There's the egg, there's, there's the actual shapes. Now that's our architectural, our structural piece of wonderful magic, really. I love it. If you bounce a ball across a room, you'll find when it hits the ground, it will leap up in the air and it will follow a trajectory which follows a parabola. If a little boy is in the street and he decides quickly to have a little wee and he fires out into the middle of nowhere, there, that will follow a parabola. And that's a, it's a basic shape of nature. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these eggs, I'm going to try and cut them in half uh, without them crumbling the way because the, the shell itself is quite, is quite brittle and fragile. So in order to do that, I've got to empty them and then I've got to put tape round and mark them and cut them and produce four identical shapes because I want to support four bricks. And to do that, each egg has got to be exactly the same. Because if one is smaller than the other, uh, all the weight, all the load will be on that one and it could collapse. So we've got to think about it, but this is not an easy thing to do. So it's back to the table. So what I'm going to do here is just put a little bit of masking tape, which is quite, it's not a cheat. It's not going to make it any stronger, but it, it makes it easy for me to, to mark it. What I need to do is, is, is almost two thirds of the length of the egg. So I'm sort of measuring it with my fingers like that. And so I'm making a little mark and then just turning the egg round. That should just hold things in place while I cut the egg. But first of all, we've got to empty the egg. So I've just crushed one end with a spoon, put the knife in, get the contents out. Now with anything like this, what happens is you get stress around this edge and it's a brittle, non-elastic material and it could crumble away. So our, our tape there holds it all in place. So what I'm going to do is make a series of cuts. And each time I do this, I create stress in the egg. So I've got to watch that because the stress can go all the way around the egg, like a ship, like, like when the iceberg hit Titanic. It wasn't the iceberg that killed it, it was the force of the impact which caused stress, which causes the ship to break in half. Mind you, I think I've just made that up. It's got to be exactly right, because it's got to be a nice flat bottom for the eggshell to sit on. So what I've got there is, is like a, a little hat. Now look at that, look at that. That's perfection, isn't it? That's absolutely fantastic. What a, what a lovely cut surface that is. Now, that looks something like the rest. They all look pretty Pretty le level, pretty even. So let's move them into position. What I'm going to do is, is put an egg at each corner of the brick so that I can spread the load. Hopefully that will work. So I'll try one brick. I'm pretty confident about one brick. Get the width right, the length right, perhaps pull it out a little bit. So, there. There's one brick. Let me just check that each egg is touching. Right. This is two bricks.
four little eggshells supporting two bricks. So let's move on to three. Now three seems like a lot to me, so I would be impressed if this worked. Oh, there's a noise. What was that? So now we've got a four. Let's try four. I will be surprised if this works. Are we ready? This does look heavy. Four is just a brick too many, a brick too far. Experiment done, that's what experiments are all about. We have to find out what works. Three works. Let's just test that. I'm pushing too hard, obviously. 